Uh, so uh, we shall uh, crack on. That's all the news I've got at my end. So we will go to our very own news. How, uh, Craig? What's the word down at the training ground? Yeah, we got a little bit of news today. It's uh, not quite the training ground, but we're we're looking at Peniston Road actually. The the club released some photos and they did a few bits a few weeks ago about this community centre they're trying to build on Peniston Road. And uh, the news that's coming through today is that it's going to council next week, the planning committee, and uh, it's been recommended that it will be allowed to be built. So we've got the £7 million community centre. It's going to have outdoor football pitches, a gym apparently, there's going to be a pharmacy, and also uh, city taxis are going to base their, their operations there as well. So it sounds like quite an ambitious project, but again, it's good news for the club in terms of community and also, I guess, in terms of bringing through some young players. If there's outdoor pitches, it's, it's got to be good news. Spencer Taylor and the guys there have built that into something that is the envy of, of any club. I don't care what division you play in. Um, and to have this facility there, it's going to be fantastic for the local community. Um, but having you know that Sheffield Wednesday badge on that beautiful new building, uh, I cannot wait. No, no, absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, just to play devil's <laughs> advocate, boys, it's marvellous. But my lording budget has been cut. Uh, I'm not on uh, all these fancy new projects. Uh, it turns out I'm only going to have three pairs of bouncing trousers next season. It's yeah. just not on. By word. My you can get by with three pairs of bouncing trousers these days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any more news from down there than Craig? Uh, that's all we got for today. I mean, the, the, the press stuff will happen Thursday, Friday. It'll be ramped up. There'll be uh, specials in the Sheffield Star, I would imagine. And there'll be all sorts of stuff going on. I mean, everyone's just been counting down to the big day. So, yeah, expect plenty of plenty of noise to be coming out of the ground. Quiet confidence, but uh, no one's taking anything for granted just yet. Now, OK, ladies and gents, that's it for your Wednesday news. Right then, ladies and gents, it's time for our uh, super duper segment, Pull Down Your Chance, where you expose your creative talents to us, and uh, uh, away we go. So, uh, of course, let's just last, we had, uh, sorry, last week we had the Ryan Lowe, uh, I Love Ryan Lowe chant. Uh, uh, there was mixed views uh, online, we saw about it, but uh, the chap himself enjoyed it. We got a rather nice message from uh, from Mr Lowe, uh, saying that he enjoyed it very much. Uh, Beastie, I believe you were singing it on the Tube as well, down there uh, in London on the way to Brentford game. Yeah, it went down really well on the tube. Uh, not just with the Wednesday fans who were singing it, but all the passengers loved it as well. Um, mind you, I do think they were more impressed with my dancing in the aisle than the actual song itself. <laughs> Absolutely. So again, uh, it has been well proven that Fudge is wrong. Uh, so, uh, oh, we go. <laughs> and he's not here to defend himself. No right uh, reply, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we shall go on with, uh, with this week's uh, uh, Pull Down Your Chance. Again, uh, we've, we've had uh, very little in from you chaps out there. Absolutely understandable. So we've done you another little example. And uh, this week, it's for Mr Chris Limes. That's a, a little tune there for Mr Lines. Uh, it seems to be uh, woefully short of uh, a bit of singage down there at Hillsborough. Uh, what do we think is going to catch on? I, am I going to have to send uh, Jeeves up with a piano to the band? I think that's a very classy interpretation of a classic song, Lord H. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be fully in support of that. Uh, again, I, I wonder how it's going to transmit onto the terraces, but uh, no, that's a, a beautiful bit of music. I loved it last week. That was were, that were class, that was right on my street, but this is not up my street at all. This is straight down the cul-de-sac. Ah, boo, <laughs> misty boo. Uh, Craig, oh boy, what do you think? Uh, do you think we'll, she'll be uh, swooning on the uh, terraces at Hillsborough? I, I can imagine someone singing it in one of these uh, 1940s clubs during the war, but 
In, in the ch chance on the terraces, I don't think it's going to catch on. I'm You've got a picture of, of me doing that in the 1940s, haven't you, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It, it obviously brings back bad memories for you, Beastie. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, so uh, of course we will be that uh, video will be available for you to see on uh, Facebook and on our YouTube channel. So please do let us know if we should sing it or bin it. Uh, now we have had a, uh, a tune in from uh, uh, from Twitter, uh, a gentleman Andrew Clark. And that's uh, Andrew underscore SWFC on Twitter, and it's to the tune of Blue Moon. Oh, uh, pains me to say, of course, it's a, uh, a song for another team. Which you'll say, we'll not mention them because. Uh, we're not bothered for that sort of thing, but uh, and, 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 of course, uh, uh, we'll give it a little bit of a try. Here it goes. <clears throat> too soon, oh. they started singing too soon. Oh. Oh. They thought they'd gone all the way, but Wednesday spoiled their day. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> stuff. What do we think of that one, uh, Mr. Andrew Clark on Twitter? Are we singing it or are we binning it? Well, I, I know Andrew Clark. Oh, he's do you now? Yeah, he's not called Big Andy for nothing. So <laughs> anything Big Andy says, it's fine by me. <laughs> uh, of course, not biased at all there, BC. We shall uh, take your name for that one, old pal. <laughs> uh, 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 Eddie, what do you think, old boy? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to argue with Big Andy. That, um, it's a Man City song, but, you know, football, we, we rob from each other and we steal from each other, don't we, champ-wise? So, uh, yeah, I think that would grace Hillsborough. No, oh, Craig, what do you think, old boy? Craig? Craig, old boy? Oh, dear, it seems a hot story has broken. Craig's had to uh, shoot off uh, and leave us. Uh, so we'll try and get his opinion on that uh, later on. It's a student, he'll be asleep. It's nap time now. <laughs> this would never happen with Fudge here. He's, he's not in demand for anything. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Uh, so again, ladies and gents, please do let us know what you uh, what you think about the uh, show as your chance. Uh, sorry, pull down your chance, expose yourself to us, and uh, show us your creative skills. Uh, now this week, of course, we had the uh, the Stevenish poem last week, which I fully uh, expect uh, added to uh, the Stevenish's performance uh, under the threat of Jeeves. Uh, but uh, this week, uh, our very own Eddie, I believe you've got a, a little ditty for us. Yeah, as I mentioned before, over the last few weeks, I've developed um, strange feelings, strange affections that I've never <laughs> felt before um, for a, a certain centre-back who has been responsible probably more than, than anyone for our continued good form and the fact that we now find ourselves in the driving seat and, and ahead of the pigs once more. So um, I was moved to, to pen the following poem. As a young boy, I must explain, I never holidayed in Spain. For me, South Devon was the form, instead of sunny Benidorm. As a result, my ignorance of that country lying southwest of France led me to believe it offered naught, and that killing bulls was their only sport. But as I grew older, learn I did of Barcelona and Real Madrid. How Spaniards loved the beautiful game, even though we didn't speak the same. Now true, I didn't mind a bit that a Spaniard never pulled on a Wednesday kit. We were replete with Portuguese, Americans, and even Swedes. I never knew what we had missed, until one Saturday, slightly pissed, I witnessed lumbering from the back a centre-half on the attack. He crossed, we scored, and I thought, hell, he's a one-man team, this big Miguel, lethal up front and solid at the back, and quite easy to spot in that black skull cap. As the weeks went on, my love for him grew, though I'm certain they hate him in Sheffield too. And this Saturday, when we clinch our promotion, I'm not ashamed to say that I'll share my emotion, because now I love everything about Spain, flamenco, paella, and how convenient it is to get there by plane. But nothing is greater, nothing can compare uh, to the glorious man we call Miguel Liera. I thank you. 
Absolutely fantastic, old boy. Absolutely marvellous. It just goes to show that uh, us here down at the Wednesday week are clearly a, a well-educated bunch. Uh, apart from Beastie, of course. Beastie, what do you think about the whole thing? Well, I, I feel a bit left out here. I, all you lot are posh. I didn't realise that Eddie had that side to him. That were like classic First World War poetry. <laughs> I was channeling the spirit of Sir John Gielgud, I think, with that. I, I could picture myself holding a skull. No, oh, do oh, apologise. And the dog. Atherton. Who let the dogs out? I do obviously, Atherton enjoyed your, uh, your poetry, Eddie. I do apologise about that, gents. Uh, ever so sorry. Uh, on you go. Jeeves, release the hounds. <laughs> He's definitely a fan with Atherton, oh boy. Uh, now, I must ask, Eddie, I must ask, uh, did these feelings for Miguel Liela start uh, after the game on Saturday when he uh, removed his head guard and shirt in the freezing rain? I'll tell you what, when I see that, the, the, those rippling muscles and that wonderful mane of hair, I did come over a little bit strange. So, um, yes, well, you know, watch yourselves on Saturday, boys. <laughs> So if you are running onto the pitch on Saturday, which of course you should not in any circumstances, uh, just run the opposite way from uh, our friend Eddie there. Don't bend <laughs> over and kiss the turf. <laughs> <laughs> of course, ladies and gents, if you would like to send us uh, anything for Pull Down Your Chance, whether it be a poem, an ode, uh, I believe uh, Beastie uh, will probably uh, do a bit of poetry for next week, uh, probably starting along the lines where there was a young lady from Exeter. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, You've just stolen it from me now. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> Please do get in touch with us, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what it is, do get in touch with us, and uh, uh, we will judge, but we may not judge too harshly. Uh, uh, it's all in the, the name of banter, of course. So uh, yes, do uh, get in touch, and we'll uh, pop those details at the end of the show. 